Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. Well, probably watch another video about these type of drivers. You may actually another one on that, or you're here for the first time. Wait, so then wouldn't be welcome back. I don't know. So you're probably having trouble installing um, Windows 11, like a fresh install Windows 11 on your brand new Asus. Um, Asus laptop, you could do, we have one here, which is an Asus ZenBook, right? We have Windows, the installer on there, but we're having a problem installing it, right? We made lots of videos about talking about how to install Windows like 11 through clean installation with, uh, that requires a driver to be installed on there. We made one on uh, Lenovo, HP, uh, Dell, and maybe some other ones. I don't know. I'll link them down below um, which ones we do have if you have those ones. It's going to be a similar process, not exactly the same. Go ahead and check those out if you do have the, one of those laptops. It's probably going to be better for you. Now, if you're also interested, we do have a video showing on how to make a bootable installer. If you want to go ahead and check that out on our channel too on how to make a bootable Windows 11 installer, uh, you can go through the Microsoft website. We show you all the steps. We have a complete walkthrough. It's a really good video. Also, check that out. But now you're probably stuck at this, or maybe you already watched that video. Now you're trying to install it, and you're like, well, I can't do that because I don't have the right driver here. And when you go to the menus here, right, you have something like this, and sorry, it won't actually accept the... <laughs> well, it won't actually accept the... Um, mouse input or the HDMI installer out. So you're going to have to just do this. So you're going to get to this screen, right? We're going to hit OK, sign our life away. Now we're going to hit a custom install. And now you're going to be at this. And this is probably where everyone's stuck at is we cannot find any, any drives to get a storage driver. Click load driver, right? And you click load driver and there's nothing there. Obviously, there's nothing there because it doesn't have the right driver. Now we have a solution for that one. Now it's going to be a little bit different than like the other ones. If you watch the other ones previously, but uh, obviously you're here for that. So you're, what you're going to need is you're going to need a USB. It doesn't have to be really that big. Or you can use the same USB that you're using for, for the um, bootable installer anyway. That might be a good idea to do it that way. But we're going to be showing with an external USB here. So we got the external USB. We're going to go ahead and plug in. We need to have another working device as well because we need to get the driver somehow, right? So I'm going to plug it into my computer here. I'm going to check out the model number. Usually it's on the bottom here. You can see it says... Q409Z, but it's going to be a very similar one to whatever you guys have. Um, it's on the bottom there. It's really easy to actually find out. What you want to do is you can go to Google. You can just type in the driver that you have there, and it should pop up. Um, sometimes even if it says, if it doesn't have the exact letter on there, it's still the same family of the drive, so it's going to be the same thing. And for that, um, we go here. And when we're on the main page, you can also go to just uh, Asus, and then uh, look for like the support page, and then just go through the driver. You can do that as well, but it's a little bit quicker. So you want to click the Drive Utility tab, and then that'll bring up the Windows 11. That's most likely what you're going to have anyway. And you want to scroll down. This will be the important part where to find it. You're going to see a chipset driver. Now, it depends on when they update this. You might have a different one that's here. But you want to hit uh, Show All under the chipset drivers. You're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. We'll see one that's called Intel Rapid Storage Driver. This is the one that we want. Now, we want to hit Download. You can download it into where, the, where you have the USB there and you have an exe file. So we can go ahead and bring up where that exe file was. And now what you want to do is you want to double click this one because it needs to install actually. So bring up a prompt. Welcome to the, the IRST driver setup install. You want to assign your life away. You want to, now for this one, you want to hit extract. Yep, that's what we want. And now the browse is where you need to install it on the USB. I'm going to hit next, install, finish. Now if we go back to this, we see a folder. And it's got the VMD uh, driver installed there. So now we're done with this. Now we can just uh, safely eject it. Here we go back to the screen. We have it on our USB. Let's go plug in our USB now. Okay. Now once we plug in our USB, we can hit load driver. We're going to hit browse. Go to where you have the, the driver. So we can go to VMD, hit OK. Now we have all these drivers that, that are um, that it wants to install. So you can just hit the top one, it should be OK. And it's going to install it. Okay, now we have all of our partition scene. Now we can do anything. Now, if you're going to be installing it uh, with a fresh install, um, make sure you back up your data before you do this. 
Um, if you have a problem, then there's obviously something else. We have a video also talking about how to back up data, if, especially if you have an OS problem, you can't access your operating system. But this will be for a fresh install. Um, otherwise, this will be a way to, you will lose all your data if you delete all these partitions here because these are where your, all your storage is, is there. But I assume you already backed it up or you're just looking for a clean install and that's what you want to do. Then you can just delete all these partitions here. Again, this will wipe all the data on here. And we want to just be stuck with the last one, which we have a big, nice big drive, one terabyte drive. Now we can install it. All right, and there you have it. We've got the Windows 11 install on there. So I hope you guys are watching this video about um, finding the storage driver for this Asus uh, ZenBook, but any type of newer part of Asus has, uh, Asus laptop probably has this type of issue or any other type of newer laptop that has that, um, that has that type of driver or like an Optane or RST driver, whatever you want to call it, VMD driver. Uh, we make videos about that, especially on the other brands. We'll definitely link those down below if you're interested in that. Again, if you're interested in making the Windows 11 bootable, we have a video on that. You can go ahead and see how we do that to, before we even get to this point. So you might have to watch two videos just to install Windows on your device. So on the Windows device that you just bought a new one for or whatever. Or if you have a problem or if you just want a fresh clean install because you bought something new and you don't want all the other junk they put on there or bloatware, whatever you want to call that as well. So I hope you guys are watching. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thank, take care. Bye.